Hi there, Shafiq here, your mega awesome runner, here again today with another video on how to get the most out of your Garmin Forerunner watch. Now, a little under a year ago, I created a video on how to set up your Forerunner 220 for interval training, and from that, I received quite a lot of positive feedback. Okay, so as a quick reminder, what we mean by interval training, as far as the Forerunner uh, is concerned, you set up your optional warm up and cool down, and then in between, you set up the amount of time or distance you want to run at a high tempo followed by your recovery period and you set that up for a certain number of repetitions. So if you take a typical example let's say if I wanted to perform a one minute high tempo run followed by a three minute recovery repeat that six times I can do that no problem using the interval facility within the four and a watch. However let's say if I wanted to add an additional element to that uh, for example, a 30 second high tempo run followed by a one minute recovery, repeat that five times. I wouldn't be able to add that on in addition to what I was doing um, uh, before. Uh, the only way to do this would be to use the workout facility within the Forerunner watch. And where you'd find that, if I take you there, if you go to menu, training, and then go to my workouts, this is where you'd. Uh, you'd find your custom workouts. Now, if you notice on the screen there on the watch, just select that again, it says download workouts from Garmin Connect. So the only way to do this is to, to create these custom workouts would be to go to the Garmin Connect website through your um, for your PC or Mac, and then you the, that Mac or, or PC would also need to have the Garmin Express software installed as well. So what I'm gonna do now is um, hook up onto my laptop now and demonstrate um, how you get that uh, set up. Okay, so I'm logged on onto my laptop now. And as I said before, we need two things in order to create the workouts and then to send that workout onto your uh, your Garmin Forerunner. So the first thing is we need access to the uh, Garmin Connect website. And then we also need to download and install the Garmin Express software. Uh, it's totally free to download. The URL is here at the top. I'll add this URL in the description of the video. So when you go into this URL or this web address, or this website, should I say, uh, there's a blue button here that says download for Windows. If you're on a Mac, there's a, a link to download it for Macintosh as well. So it's quite important you download and install this first of all before you proceed any further or else you won't be able to transfer the workout onto your, uh, onto your watch. Okay, so I've got the software already installed on my machine, so I'm all good to go. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the Garmin Connect uh, webpage and then click on the sign in link here and log in with my username and password. And then that will take you to the Garmin Connect uh, main uh, dashboard. This has access to all your past uh, running history, uh, t uh, the total mileage that you've covered, connections with your other fellow uh, runner friends, running friends, etc. Uh, so what we do, uh, what we need to do here now is look for a box similar like these, titled workouts, and it's usually right at the bottom, which it is here in my case. And as you can see here, I don't have any workouts created, so I'm going to create one here now. So I'm going to move down this list of the select a workout type and select run and then click on the create a workout button. And then that takes you to the workout interface where you can actually create and customize the workout that you want. Um, the first thing that I do is I rename the name of the workout. This is the name it gives as default, which is run workout. So I'm gonna rename that to uh, my workout number one. And then what it what Garmin does for you, it creates sort of like, um, it has a basic template set up for you, which is, consists of a warm up, a run, and a cool down. Um, what I normally tend to do, I tend to clear all this and start from scratch totally. Uh, so I, I, have to, I have total control of it, of, of the workout that I'm, I'm about to create. So what you do, you create the workout based on steps. So what I'm gonna do is create like a really quick interval session workout here. Uh, and then I'll then create another workout and I'll tweak it based on the one that I've created uh, here right now. So the first step is, well, obviously click on the add a step button and then you have uh, three options. The type of step, so you can either be a warm up, run, recover, rest, cool down or other. So I'm going to say a warm up and select the duration. So the duration can be based on time, distance, the lap button that you press on your watch based on number of calories burned or your heart rate that you reach. 
uh, heart rate obviously only works if you if your Garmin has the heart rate monitor built in or if you're wearing the optional heart rate monitor strap around your chest uh, what I'll do here I'll set it up as distance uh, it'll be a one mile warm-up you've got an add more link here uh, where you can select the type of intensity target now the intensity target can, again can be based on pace speed and cadence or even heart rate zone as well um, I'll give you an example if I set it to pace what you do you tell it the pace that you want to be running your warm-up between so I could say anywhere between um, 8.30 to 9 minute miles so what that means is that if you when you whilst you're doing your warm-up and you're slightly faster than 8.30 minute miles or slightly slower than 9 minute miles then the watch will start beeping at you uh, can be a good thing or a bad thing depending what kind of mood you're in um, but you know it's good to know that the option is available to you so that's my warm-up created now the next step is what I'm going to do is going to create one minute run with a two minute recovery but I wouldn't repeat that six times so rather than adding it as a step I'm going to add that as a repeat so what happens is here now Garvin then creates you a little like a repeat uh, section here which will consist of a run and a recovery so I'll say run I'm going to base that based on set that based on time so I'm going to say one minute I'm not going to add any um, intensity targets here so I'm going to leave that blank uh, I'm going to do a, then I'm going to do a recovery again based on time for two minutes okay now at the moment as you can see here it's setting that to repeat uh, two times what you do is click on the plus or the minus and you just then basically tell it the number of times you want to repeat this section here so I've set that to five times and then I now want to add um, a last step which is my cool down so I'll click on add step here and I'll set that to cool down and I'll set that to I don't know um, let's set it to the distance and I'll do that as a not 200 <laughs> two mile uh, cool down um, yeah let's add some intensity to set again pace on pace and we'll just set that to um, again 8.30 to let's say 9 minute miles again okay in a nutshell that's pretty much it really so you've got my warm-up I've got my repetition set up here and I've got my cool down all you do now is just click on save workout as you can see you've got a message here that your workouts now been saved and now that's ready to be sent to your Garmin 400 watch but before I do that um, let's say if you wanted to sort of like customize to tweak this workout a little bit let's say after this five set of repetitions you wanted to add then add let's say another set of repetitions at different intensities uh, that is definitely possible as well so what I'm going to do is uh, return back to the Garmin Connect uh, dashboard go back scroll down you'll see your workout here shown here click on it again and what you'll notice you've got some additional options here now uh, which weren't here before you've got the option to delete and you've also got another option which is save a copy so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on save a copy and what that does it duplicates this workout for you so I'm going to click on that and that would now as you can see the workout's been copied so the one that we created previously is going to remain it's going to stay remain untouched we're not going to sort that make it that will stay as it is so what we're doing is we're messing around with a copy here now so what I'll do I'll rename this instead of copy of my workout one I'll just call that my workout two that's okay um as I said I want to tweak this by adding another set of repetitions here so you want to use click on edit workout and let's add another repetition uh, we want to add another run uh, based on time let's say you want to do let's say um, 30 second sprints so it's a zero call on 30 and then you want to do recovery and we'll do that again based on time and we'll do a one minute recovery and we'll repeat that let's say three times what you notice is that this set, set of repetitions is a right at the bottom and it's uh, obviously we want to move this above the cool down that's easy enough to do what you do you move your mouse pointer 
of this little section here and you just basically just drag it up here and what happens it moves it just above this set of repetition the cool downs then move to the bottom and I'm happy with that now just click on just save workout and that's done so what we've done we've created two workouts really simple um, and now these are ready to be sent to the farm no sorry not the phone but to the device of your forerunner so what we'll do is we'll go let's send this workout to the um the to the to the forerunner so you'll click on this link here that says send to device and it'll say select the device you want to send it to well i've only got the one here which is the 220 send now what you'll get now is a message depending on the browser that you're uh, using uh, in this case i'm using google chrome what it's saying in a nutshell is that it's trying to launch an application. Do you want to do it or do you don't want to do it or do you want to not want to do anything? In this case, yes, I do want to launch um, the Garmin Express software, so which allows you to basically transfer the workout here onto the, uh, the watch. So I'll say launch application. As you can see, here it's now asking me to plug in the forerunner into my uh, uh, into my computer so I'm just going to do that really quickly I've just got it in my hand now so let's just plug that in um, okay that's done it should pick it up in a few moments and then start uh, syncing it over which it has done as you can see Oops, just, there you go. It won't take long, it only literally takes just a, um, a few moments to sync the, the workout over here. Bear in mind, what, whilst, it's, whilst this is happening, we're only uh, transferring workout number two. Um, what I'll do is once this is done, I'll then come out of the workout, go into the, of the, the, uh, the original workout I did, uh, number one and I'll uh, transfer that over as well. So the synchronization is complete That means that the workout is now being transferred onto the watch. So I'll just minimize this I'll go back to the main Garmin connect dashboard by clicking on this um, the connects uh, symbol here Scroll back down go back to the original workout, which is my workout number one And we'll do the same again here center device 4 and 220 yeah that's all good click on send now click on launch application to actually launch garment to initiate garmin express to get this workout and move it onto the watch and it's doing the same again now for this workout and that's done as well so there we have it guys both workouts transferred onto the watch. What I'm going to do is stop this and then uh, have a look at the watch now and see where the work where the workouts can be found and how to sort of like uh, start using them. Okay, so I'm back looking at the watch. Uh, so how do we access these workouts? So we go to menu and then select on training, and then you've got my workouts that you want to go to, and then as you can see, you've got both your workouts. My workout number one and my workout number two. So what you do to, to start a workout, just click on highlight the one that you want to use or start with, press the red button here, and then you've got the option do workout, so you press the red button again, and then your workout begins. Or if you want to view what the workout involves, you can highlight view, and it then shows you the steps that the workout consists of as well. What you also have is the option of deleting the workout so you can actually delete it have a yes or no i'll say yes just a hell of it and that workout's now gone bear in mind that actually deletes the workout from the phone, from the watch not from garmin connect so if you wanted to resync it back to the watch you can do and that's pretty much it guys hope you found this video useful any comments questions uh, please leave them in the comment section below this video until then i'm shafiq khan your mega awesome runner I'll see you next time.